Hey guys, today I want to talk about how to fold sports bras. Now I'm going to show you three ways. One file fold, one regular fold, and lastly, uh, how I like to block roll them. I want to talk about uh, the advantages of each of them and why I think the block roll is best as well. But let me just show you the other two first here quickly so that you <laughs> can know those two. I know some of you really like the, the file folding one, you know, Marie Kondo. <laughs> so we're going to start out by placing the sports bra here with the, the side with the least amount of fabric facing up like this. And from here, we are going to split it into three parts like this and just fold it in one third of the way on one side. You want to make sure that you get the, the straps as well. They can be slightly annoying when you're folding the sports bras, I know. <laughs> so do that on both sides, like I said, like this. And at this point, uh, you should have this nice uh, rectangle here. Make sure that everything is nice and even. Try to avoid any wrinkles that may appear. Now I'm going to turn it around like this and I'm going to split it into three parts again. And from the side with straps, we're going to fold it down one third of the way, like this. Again, making sure that these pesky straps stay nice. <laughs> and then from here, we are going to fold it over one more time, like this. So, in theory, you should be able to file fold it like this. However, for sports bras, I don't like to file fold because of the fabric. However, if you are a fan, you can definitely file fold it. Uh, it may need some support. However, since they do, kind of, it's so slippery, I don't really like it. I want to show you uh, how to do it regularly as well. Actually, I do prefer the normal flat fold for sports bras. Well, prefer, I, I mean, I'm a man, but... Uh, uh. <laughs> for the regular flat fold, we're just going to split it into four parts here. Up first, so folding in towards the middle on one side and folding the other side in as well, like this, so that they meet on the middle here. Again, we got to deal with these annoying straps. And from here, I'm just going to flip the entire thing and fold it over in half so that the top of the straps meet the bottom of the sports bra like this. And then from here, we can very easily split it down the middle here like this and just flip it over in half. And just make it some nice adjustments here so everything looks pretty for you guys. So this is the regular flat fold, right? This is really nice. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And to be honest, you can file fold it like this as well if you want to but it has the same problem as the real file fold in that it's it's slippery and it falls apart easily can i blow <sighs> yes so not the best but i want to show you one more method uh, it's the one that i use for the block rolling course link down below if you are interested by the way so we're going to start out by uh, placing the sports bra again with the side with the least amount of fabric facing up like this and then from here, we're going to take the bottom here and we're going to flip it out over the rest of the sports bra like this. Now, depending on the size of your sports bra and how much is actually fabric, I mean, if your sports bra ends, uh, is thinner, has less fabric, you definitely don't need to put as much space down here in this uh, part that you flip over. Uh, however, for a regular sports bra like this, I would say go with three inches, two probably, should be enough for our purposes. Anyway, from here, we are going to split it into three parts again, like this. Fold it in once. Again, straps. Fold the other side over as well, like this. And you should be left with this uh, nice uh, tri triangle, no, <laughs> rectangle here. And we can start the rolling process for this one. So we're going to start rolling here from the, from the shoulder straps. And just use your little crabby grip that I've taught you so many times now and start rolling up the sports bra trying to avoid any wrinkles forming as you roll it up so once you reach the top here take one of your hands and grab hold of the entire roll make sure you don't let go of anything underneath here and lift it up like this now we have one free hand right so you're going to take this band and you're going to flip it over the rest of this roll here do the top side first like this while holding on to the bottom with your other hand flipping it over now you can take this hand, grab hold of this side and turn it around. Now your other hand is free to do the same thing up here. So you just flip it over like this and uh, you can do some adjustments if you want. I like to place my thumbs on the back and put my index fingers inside here and just stretch it out, make everything look nice and pretty. You can give it a massage if you want, a chiropractor. <laughs> anyway, this uh, method is really nice because uh, you can actually stack it nicely. Like I said, I use this in the block rolling system uh, in the examples in the course and uh, it has worked out greatly. Uh, it's perfect for block rolling or uh, rolling in general. 
This is also really nice for travel. It may crease slightly more than the other folds. However, I do think it's worth it for the sports bras. I think it's pretty obvious that this one is the way to go with for sports bras. It may be tricky to fold it the first couple of times, but you'll get the hang of it. If you want to learn more about how to fold your clothes to save space, I have a bunch of information on how to organize everything and some things that you need to think about. I made a huge video about it here. Check that out next and I will see you next week with another folding video.